If there is one meal that I'm required to make over the holidays, it is my cheesy potatoes, and my younger brother loves them, and they're so easy to make, I promise you that your family's gonna love them. It's really simple. All you need is a one pound bag of frozen hash browns. So when you pull them out, you're gonna wanna beat them on the counter like this, just a little bit. We're gonna pour them into a giant mixing bowl, just like so. And then we're gonna add, well, if you get a big frozen chunk like this, just throw it out. And the secret ingredient to making these cheesy potatoes is Country Home Creations cheese ball mix. Just rip off the tag, cut it open, and then dump it in your bowl. Then we're gonna add our sour cream. This is two cups of sour cream. Pour it right on top of the potatoes, just like so. Then we're gonna add eight ounces of Colby Jack cheese. We're gonna reserve another eight ounces for later, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Mix this up, we're gonna add one cup of milk, about 2% milk is my favorite. You can use whole milk if you like the sweeter milk. And then we're gonna add a can of cream of onion soup. You can use cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, whatever is your favorite. Gonna put that in with the hash browns, just like so. And then we're going to mix it up. Now as you can see, mixing it up is not really that easy of a process, so what I like to do is just go ahead and get dirty with it. Put your hands right in here, mix it up. Make sure they're clean though because nobody wants to have dirty hands in their cheesy potatoes. So mix this up nice and good. Just like so, get it off your hands there. And then we're gonna put this into a 13 by nine casserole dish. I use the glass baking dish. Um, it cooks up nice and easy. So I have it right here so that way I don't get make a huge mess when I transfer it. So we're gonna put this into the pan just like so. I'm gonna pat it down. And don't worry, it might look like you have more potatoes than actually going to fit in the pan, but promise, I promise you it's going to fit nicely into this pan, just like so. And get the last little bit here. And at this point, your fingers should probably feel really, really cold. So I'm gonna go over here real quick, rinse them off, because I gotta put that eight ounces of Colby Jack cheese that we reserved on top of the potatoes. Nice little rinse there, dry them off. Take this cheese, spread it over the top, like so. All right. I love lots of cheese, so if you're a cheese lover like me, um, you might want to put a little bit more on there. I'm gonna cover this with foil, just like so. Then we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about an hour. And then about with 30 minutes left, we're gonna remove the foil. And wouldn't you know, I have a magic little oven that already made it for us. So I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, and you can see, take a look at this. The cheese is nice and brown on the top. I love burnt cheese on the top. I'm gonna to cut myself a little piece right here. Okay, maybe a big piece. Scoop it on my plate here. Mm, yeah, your family is going to love this. Take a nice little forkful of the cheesy potato, which goes good with your Thanksgiving meal, your Christmas meal, whatever you want, nice and hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. Mmm, that is so good.